What up, what up? All right, let's do pause con. Okay, jet 232. Let's update it. There's our flight plan. Everything should be showing on top there. Monterey, South Lake Tahoe, jet 232. Registration's wrong. Stupid thing. Should be November two three two Kilo Sierra. Let's try to do that. There we go. Alright, that looks good. Failed the VFR section. Oh yeah, I mean, if you guys, didn't I say, I think I said it last night, there's a possibility of me doing a uh, pause con flight. Maybe I didn't say anything. I don't remember shit. Like I said, I can't remember day to day. So, anywho, let's get this going. Let me make sure I turn the sounds back on. I did, okay, it's just because we don't have anything going on here. I'm going to go ahead and hide them. Hide that now, version 5. Oh yeah, I saw. It was lit up, man. It was lit up with ATC down there. Alright, so let's go in here. We're going to create a flight plan. Uh, identification is Bayjet 232. It's general aviation, one aircraft type. Aircraft is a 550. It's light. Let's see. We've got LPV. We've got DME. Uh, we can pick up PDC. ADF. We have global navigation. IRS is GPS. CPDLC we do not have. We have ILS. We have VOR. We got VHF or RVSM. Or MMPS or 8 point. Actually, we're not MP, MMPS. We'll take that off. So that's good there. And we are. Which one was it? It was. Oh, ADB, ADSB out was the one. And then we are H. KMRY. What time is it right now? Let's pull up. It is 23.17. Data flight is right. And let's try to go 23. We're a little late. Let's try to go 23.30. Our cruise speed is going to be, looking at the flight plan here, N0311. Flight level 210. And our route of flight is Salinas with a whole bunch of directs. Destination, South Lake Tahoe. Three hours and 25 minutes. What the frick? Monterey? Yeah, that's wrong. Should be... 46 minutes. We'll go 45 for now. Special handling, nothing. RNF capability, we're not oceanic. We are all of those. All of those, all of those, all of those, and one of those. All right, looks good. Go 
With endurance, we've got over, let's see, two hours and 30 minutes of fuel. Two people on board. We're non-water. No remarks. Submit. Flight plan filed. Uh, let's see, did I already log on here? I think I already logged on here. Oh, I guess I didn't log on. Oops. Connect. Cyphertation Bay Jet. We're connecting and we're connected. There we go. <coughs> ATC. Let's log on. Bay Jet 232. Let's send let's send it. Hey, what's going on, Lieutenant uh, Ford? What is happening, my friends? There's a message. I filed a flight plan. Let's go back. Flight plans. 232. Let's edit it. I said for 10 minutes, 23, 23. 2330 um, 35 maybe today's the what's today's date today's the 19th oh wait no no it's still the 19th that looks all good to me Let's go back again. Try it again. Page at 232. Send it. Hey, what's up, Andrew? How you doing, bud? There it is. Squawk 4202. 4202. All right, back in the airplane. Let's put it in now. Four two zero two. We'll hit enter. All right. Let's set all this up the way we want it here. Let's see. Let's go right here. Then we got this right here, which is perfectly fine. Autopilot. I want right here. Oops. Autopilot right here. This stuff up here, HSI, I want to be able to see the heading. So we're good there. Initial altitude, 7,000 out of here, so we'll do that. Uh, 122.95 is the Unicom frequency to transmit on. Go ahead and get that put in. We might as well just head and turn on the ground right now. Let's just do altitude reporting and get it on anyway so I don't forget it. All right, next thing is let's load the flight plan in here into the GTN 750. So we're going Monterey. It's going to be the Monterey 9 or 5, whatever it is there. And we're going to go off from my 28 left. Low to departure. Uh, next one's going to be Salinas. From Salinas, we're direct Panoche. PXN. And from Pinoch, it's direct Squaw Valley. And from there, we're going to Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe. From there, we'll pick up the procedure. We'll do the uh, RNAV 18 GPS LPV. And we're going to take it from Hetri. We're going to load that. We're going to come back out of this. We're going to take a look and to see what our route looks like here. So we're not going to go to Shoei, so you know what I'm going to do with that. I already don't like that already. 
I already don't like that already. We're going to remove that point. Invalid flight plan. Okay, so you know what we'll do? We'll just go direct Salinas. So I don't have to worry about it. Screw it. Doesn't want to take it out of there. Fine, whatever. Panoch, from Panoch all the way up, Squaw Valley. And then from there, we need to go to Hetchery. This is all a mess right here. So let's clean that up. Flight plan. And the reason why it's a mess because you got to remove Tahoe from there. And then if I go back up here, it should be Squaw Valley, Direct, Hetchery, Obave. And that looks good to me. Alright, let's get let's get everything closed up here, gents. Let's go ahead and get the uh, baggage doors closed. Close the passenger door. Okay, well that's closed. Let's go ahead and move the GTN out of the way. Let's come down here. Let's go ahead and get the beacon light turned on. That's set to zero. That's on, that's on. Okay, we can start the right side. BG, BG. Watch for spin up. Spinning up. Waiting for light out. Let's go with 95 on the N1. There's light up. Oh, I bet I bet you're loving it, man. I think Sundays are like the best days down there. Don't don't forget, guys. I don't have active sky, so I don't know what the weather's going to be like. So we're probably just flying in. Uh, obviously, good weather here. Starting the left. Oops, maybe not. Do it again. There we go. You gotta push it. Let's get the uh, generators turned on here. We can go ahead and remove the ground power. We can put on our AC powers, anti-ice for all services can come on. We can turn on our taxi lights. Uh, these lights can come on here. Bada beam, let's go into here, that's good. We'll keep those on, that's good. Uh, and a collision we don't need until we get out to the runway. That's for the pedo 7000. The, the flap set for takeoff. And let's just kind of get over to the trim here so I can see the trim. Just bring that down a tiny bit. All right, we're good, man. Brakes are coming off. All right, let's get this rolling, guys. Good so far, looks good so far. I love doing that, watching that view. Mm. Alright, let's taxi out to runway 28 left. Monterey traffic, uh, Bayjet 232, citation 550, taxing out only 28 left. Any traffic in the area, please advise. Give her a little gas. She's a little shy. She'll get moving. I forget. I had to set new, new viewpoints here and. Uh, What's it called? Chase Wayne, which is updated to version 5.
the brake for. He loves CPDLC now. I figure he would once you got it figured out. Alright, let's test the dress reverses. Dress reverses work. Back outside again. Was it six? No. Five? No. Four? Yep. Set the speed bug to 210, that's what the plane likes to climb at, it's 210. Showing altimeter 29 or 9 or 1, I don't, like I said, I don't have any kind of weather set up here, so. Where are you flying, BG, where are you flying with uh, CPDLC over in Europe? any of you guys have those the Flyson uh, where Lira 35 but they're coming out with the UNS FMS for it so that'll be that'll be a plus so you'll have the option of using the GTN 750 or the UNS FMS uh, which the, a lot of the Lyrs came with Lyra 35 so that'll be awesome Well, I push the, the yoke in and my seat goes back. A lot of force on that. Alright, let's get the shoes off here, the thongs. Let's take my thongs off. And not the underwear thong either. The thongs. I know how you guys think. All I need is active sky, man. And I'm going to start flying like my ass off. No, B does not get naked. So you guys might know that uh, Dario, Captain Dario, is going to be up here in this area, and he was talking about a meet and greet. I guess his family owns a winery in Lodi or something. So I might go meet him this week. I'm meeting everybody, man. Pretty soon, I'm going to have to start signing out autographs. All right, we're getting close to the runway. We can go ahead and put on the uh, we can go ahead and put on the pedo static. We're getting close to the end of the runway here. We'll go ahead and go recognition. Anti-collision lights are on. Passenger safety is on. Oops, too fast. So we'll get down here to runway 28 left. Make our call again. Hopefully, John, we'll be able to meet one of these days. I'm hoping to meet everybody, dude. That'd be cool to get together with everybody. Evan, uh, Mr. Brian over there in uh, Arkansas. I want to meet everybody, dude. Let's make our call here. It's pulled short. Monterey traffic is Bay Jet 232, Citation 550. is taking runway 28 left for departure to the north. East, any traffic in the area, please advise. Alright guys, I don't, there's not going to be any traffic, but we're supposed to make our calls anyway, so let's do it. Let's give her a little bit of gas here. You know, before we go, I want to see what the weather is anyways, so hold on real quick here. Uh, if I go... Airport, Monterey, Mitar. So, altimeter 3006. 
So what is 3006? Two ninety two, that's two ninety three, two ninety four. Oh, are you ready, you guys? I'm only five six, I don't know what you guys are talking about. We're rolling, air speed's alive. Eighty knots. Oops, I gotta look up here. Don't let me looking down, be dub. We're looking for V1. We got V1. There's 110. Pull back on the yoke slowly on the yoke. We're airborne. Positive rate. Gears coming up. Start making our right turn. Flaps coming up. Let's go altitude. So let's go autopilot. Altitude select. Waiting for the 210. We'll go nav. We'll bring up the GTN now. It's uh, shift nine. And what we're going to do is we're going to go direct to Salinas right now. I'm not going to Shuey. That's crazy to go to Shuey. Direct. Boom. Booyah. It's captured. Oops. We passed the 210. We'll go IAS mode. And we'll go up to 21,000 feet. And Monterey traffic, uh, Beja 232 is leaving the area to the northeast. See ya. We're in IAS mode. We can go outside with those things climbing. Take a look at the purdy scenery. Uh, let's see here. I'm not the shortest person here now. Oh, Brighton's 5'7. I'm 5'6. Avocado is 5'3. I've seen I've seen pictures of uh, Evan, so I can I'm, I'm guessing Evan's probably about five nine, five ten. John, I know you're tall. I can I can actually I've seen you on camera, so I know you're tall. All right, we got the landing lights can come off. Recognitions will stay on until we get through ten thousand feet. This is the uh, Coronado Citation 550 in uh, P3D version 5. All the installers work, you just have to point it to PT, uh, P3D version 5. They all work. Coronado confirmed that their aircraft do work in version 5. It just They don't have the installer yet made for version 5, so the version 4, you just point it to version 5. And then uh, Reality XP has made the GTN 750 compatible now with uh, version 5. So everything is working as planned. So what you guys saw last time, I didn't have the true sky check mark. So now this is true sky. If I turn true sky off, the colors are like super bright. That's what you guys saw last time. So I read more into it, and true sky is what's going to actually give you what it's supposed to look like in real life when you're flying. So this is true sky enabled in the flight sim. If you take it off in flight sim, the colors are more vibrant and super bright. I didn't know that. I had to read into it a little bit more. All right, let's go back in here. We're probably coming up on 10. We already are past 10. We can go ahead and turn off the recognition lights now. Seat bill signs can come off. Uh, we can go over to engine sync and we'll do it to fa uh, fan. Flaps are up. Uh, you know what I did do? I did forget something though. 
And let's see, what button is it? There it is. It was that. No, it wasn't that one. See, now I changed all these buttons. I gotta remember I forgot the air conditioning to come on. I should have done that on takeoff. I don't need any bleed air. Let's go to three. I can go on. I can stay cold. Cockpit is good. That's good. All the rest of this is good. 21,000 feet. I can just kind of bring this in here, bring it down. Good. It doesn't matter. Hey, what's going on, Eugene? How you doing? And then frames are locked at 30, and I'm I'm 30 constant. I've done I've done I've done frames at 30, 40, and 50, and they're all the same. Yeah, P3D version five, my friend. P3D version five. So yeah, before I didn't have the true sky turned on, and now I have it turned on. So the, uh, the scenery is not like coming at you with all the colors like that. At first it was like really too strong. Did I turn off the pulsating lights? No anti-collision or on recognition. No, we're good. We're good. I thought I might have turned something off here. Okay, we're just coming out of 16,000. Doing a short flight on here on Pazcon. I'm just going to go to uh, from here to South Lake Tahoe. My computer has less VRAM, so I can't go. Oh, that's too bad. Even if all the products get them get updated for version five, you won't be able to play version five at all if you delete version four. Yeah, because if everybody ups, updates their stuff like they have been doing for version 5, get rid of version 4 when all the planes come on, like PMDGs, the, the quality sim they say already works, but like all the other ones like FS Labs and, pla and planes like that, once all those become c compatible, there, a lot of them are going to be free updates. Just, just get rid of version 4 and put version 5 in there and you should be fine. It is a bigger download though. Version 4.5 was like 12 gigs. Version 5 is like 20 something gigs. 22 gigs, I think. So it's a it's a big download. Oh, it shows that I'm offline. I'm not offline. It did it again. Let's do this. Did it again. It shows that I'm offline. I'm on PodgeCon. Let's update it. There we go. All right. Let's 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 make a shortcut. Let's go direct Squaw Valley. Coming here to GTN. Hit it. Boom. Let's do it. We're turning towards Squaw Valley. Okay. We're we're level at two one zero. We can start bringing the throttles back a little bit here, so we don't overspeed. Make our turn towards Squaw Valley. 
I love the GT and 750, it's freaking awesome. Look at the snow on the mountains. If you actually go outside right now, you'll see the snow on the mountains like this in the Sierras. It's freaking awesome. I'm gonna watch that speed. I don't want to overspeed here at 21,000 feet. Start bringing the throttles back here. Talladega, what network is it on? I love Ricky Bobby. Help me, Tom Cruise. Bring it back a little bit here. I don't want to overspeed. Ricky Bobby. Let's see, I don't have, oh, I do have it. Let's see. The comedy channel? Okay, hold on. You know what? Ours is different. We have super troopers on right now here. Super troopers are on here. After that, we have um, chips. It says chips on after after super troopers. Speed's holding good. What are we doing? We're doing about 250. We can bring it up just a tiny bit here. We're like at 86.2. Just don't want to overspeed it anymore. So that'll hold good there. Let's go outside view. Oh, All yeah. right. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Speed is good, right? Shake, shake, and bake. And share green screen. Uh -huh. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's actually it's actually a blue screen, believe it or not, and not a green screen. But I've had to put tape. Um, what do you call it? What kind of tape can I call it? Thanks, Trevor. My son told me. I had to put duct tape around duct tape around the edges because of my glass desk. It's rubbing and starting to tear the material, so I had to put tape all the way around the circle. It's a circular blue screen. So I had to put that around the, the screen because it's starting to rub and go through the material and show the metal ring. So I've almost I've got it on the edges where it needs it. I'm probably going to have to put some more here, but just trying to protect the edges from the, the rubbing. Look at the snow on the mountains. That is so freaking awesome. I, I just, I'm telling you, it's, it's the way it looks if you go outside and look at the Sierras right now. It's actually a nice day out here today, too. And bite. I will be back later on tonight, guys. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. To control, so I'll be back later on tonight. I'll do my controlling thing. I missed the left side of the wheel so much. Have you ever, John, have you ever been out here? Have you been out to the west coast? Kind of good, huh? pretty good. Can't go here and damn it. Oh well, we slowed way down. I don't want to go that slow. Uh, oh yeah, we need to go like to ninety. 
95% or something like that. That's too slow. Get a little bit more juice here. Maybe 94.5. Let's see what 94 does. Yeah, I've been to Orange County when my grandpa lived out there. I have family in the here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I wonder, did anybody see if when I did the stream that it went to Twitter by any chance? Did it show up in our Discord? Let's see. I don't think it's doing that again. I think I have to sign in and make it do that again. I don't think it's doing it. Twitter post. No, it did it. Oh, all right, it's doing it. I thought maybe I had to sign in again. All right, cool. The notification. Sh okay, cool. I thought maybe since I had to do since I did the whole reinstall and everything again, that I had to sign back in with it. Andrew, thanks for thanks for following me on the Twitter. I appreciate it, my friend. Just got the notification that came in right now. I have to uh, if I get to meet Dario, I'll have to bring my uh, my iPad, and take a picture of it, and uh, post it on Twitter. I told him no bro hugs. You know, we got to kind of keep our distance a little bit. No bro hugs, just a just a just pump in the air. It's good. You got to keep down the bro hugs, man. Social distancing. Social distancing. Looks like great seats for the pilot classy, right? I love the citation of the five foot guys. This is one of my favorite clients of theirs. But like I said, if you don't have the GTN, you might as well not even get this airplane. Because without the G without the GPN and the thing for piece of shit, the avionics suck without the GPN in it. And uh, Terrib will tell you the same thing. You don't have the GPN in it, then it's a piece of shit. With the GPN, it makes the whole plane. And a lot in real life, too, a lot of the uh, corporate gentlemen are going to uh, GPN 750s in it. A lot of the corporate aircraft. I met, like I told you guys, I met Grau Adler. He flew out in the CJ1, and his owner went and put dual GTN 750s in the airplane. It looked freaking awesome. It was really good. Really good. Seventy-seven. That's good. We're not over speeding, at least. We can maybe drop it down just, just, just a tiny bit. We're at ninety-three. Let's try to bring it down to like ninety-three. Let's drop it down just a tiny bit. We're supposed to be like three hundred and eleven knots with ground speed. That's what we filed. The sooner we get there, the better. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what we're over right now. So 
so we're just coming east. We're east of Modesto. So let's see if we can see Modesto out the window. What key did I make the windows? Oh, there's Modesto right there. There's Modesto Airport right there. Should we open the window and suck the pilots out? Nah, let's don't do that. That wouldn't be a good thing. I mean, that scenery looks so good in version 5 now. I want to show you, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about when you take, when you take the true sky off. I just don't want to screw up my flight. So if you go into graphics, I'm going to show it to you anyways. You're going to see in the world area. So this right here, enhanced atmospherics, it's beta. So this right here is what changes the color of the sky and the visual the visual area in the sim. If I uncheck mark this, the um, the colors like on the ground there are gonna be seriously bright. I mean they're gonna be super colorful which really in true life they don't I mean, they don't pop that much especially when you have like smog in the area and everything else. I'll show you on the ground. When we get on the ground, we'll do it. 2682, Modesto, hometown. Let's see if we can get out of ghost mode here. Let's see if we can get out of ghost mode. Okay, we're out of ghost mode now. So, you're about, you're about an hour and 20 minutes away from me. There's a wind. Moving the plane around. I have family that used to uh, live in Modesto. We used to live with a lot of family. My mom and I, when I was a kid, we would go to Modesto every weekend. Every weekend. And we have family all over Modesto. Sierras, we're getting closer, guys. Real nice. I got it. That target that was on the Wait, what happened? Oh, I got a little bit of a wind. Oh, don't tell me your headset's broke. Then you, you just got that headset. Tell me it's not broke. Oh, the Ricky Bobby Club got you. God bless baby Jesus. I like when they're sitting at the David dinner table. What, what's the grandfather's name? Chuck, isn't it Chuck? Chuck, I'll whip your ass. I'm high on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Grandpa, I'll whip your ass. I'm high on Mountain Dew. Oh, uh, that part's funny. Alright, so we're still holding like 270, which is fine. 342 to ground speed. Uh, we're just coming up on Linden, to the east of Linden. Yeah, I'll go on you like a spider monkey. Closer, we're getting closer. I 
Let's see. Been to that lake. Been to that lake. Where's Pedro? I think Pedro was down here. Where's Lake Don Pedro? Turlock Lake. I've been to Turlock Lake. There it is. New Don Pedro. Been there. Love that place. Lake McClure. We didn't have been there. Don Pedro. New Maloney's. Those are fun lakes to go uh, wakeboarding on. And the New Hogan. Been a lot of these lakes. Comanche, been there. Padre Res and I have been there. Shores of South and Central America are good. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I like the guy we had when we went through Venezuela. He did a really good job. He gave one hole of a shortcut, 600 mile shortcut, right to the exit of his FIR. So that was just perfect. Wait, wait till you fly over in Europe, dude. Wait till you experience the Europe ATC, too. Over in Europe, they're really good, too. See you. What, what's your flight number? See if I can find you. Yeah, they're still on. Yeah. Oh, there you are. I found you. You're in Panama City, there, sis. Europe is fun. We'll have to fly in Europe too. Europe is a blast. Alright. I should be getting closer. We're still holding about 270. Let's just bring it back a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Alright, you can already see the charts up already. terrain on there too. We should see the lake soon here. And I'll bring up the uh, 
departure of the airport here, South Lake Tahoe. We're doing the RNAV. GPS runway 18. And we want to cross Hetchery. We'll cross Hetchery at 14, 220 on the speed, and then Obave at 11. It's like South Lake Tahoe, the airport should be over here. You know what we're going to do? We're, do, we're going to do something different. We're going to do something different. We're going to start descending down down 14 right now. We're going to land the opposite direction. I've never done that. We always land runway 18. Screw that. We're going to change it up and do something different. So I'm going to bring it down now. I'll start throwing the speed back a little bit here, bring the throttles back. And we're going to go back to the flight plan here. And we're not going to do the RNAV GPS. We're going to do the visual 36. And we're going to get rid of, uh, we're going to go direct to this point right here. We're going to do something different. We always we always do the 1-8. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to make it a little bit more interesting. So we're going to come in and land runway 36. So we're going to have to dodge some terrain coming in here. Three zero zero four, I think, was the altimeter. Let me go back and look here. Thirty oh four is the altimeter. There's the lake. You can see the lake right here. We don't need the uh, we don't need the GTN anymore, so we'll get rid of it. We make our way down here. We'll bring it down 2,000 feet a minute. We'll go ahead on the speed brakes. That's what you're going to hear running in the background there. I'm going to bring it all the way down to 12,000 here. So there's Lake Tahoe, the airport's going to be right over in here. I think that's it right there. Three zero zero four is the altimeter. Zero one seven. You guys see the airport yet? I do. All right, coming off autopilot. Coming off yaw dampers. Coming off. Let's make sure it came off. It did. Let's go ahead and take off the. Uh, we're gonna fly this same thing by hand. Let's go ahead and go. Let's bring the speed back. 
the one notch of flaps. Wait till we can bring it back here. Alright, it's gonna be tricky. We're coming in the wrong direction. Never done the wrong direction before. So, everybody, fasten your seatbelts. Kiss your ass goodbye. We're gonna drop the gear for some uh, drag. One notch of flaps are coming in. Airports in sight. South Lake Tahoe traffic. Bay Jet 232. Citation 550 is on a visual approach only. Uh, one, or actually, 36. Any traffic in the area, please advise. right over in this valley right here. Start turning towards the airport as we come down here. Okay, we're starting to slow down a little bit more. We can go another notch here in just a second. Once we get stable, there's the runway. Yeah, a lot of a lot of pilots won't do this approach just because of the terrain. Technically, you're not supposed to do the approach, but if winds call for it, you can. Sink rate. Yeah, it's because Sink I'm near rate. the terrain. You're fine. Sink rate. Shut up. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Pull up. Pull up, sink rate. You know what, let's turn the terrain off. Sink rate. We'll turn the terrain off. It's going to give me that each time. There's a, oh, there's a gust of wind right there. You guys saw that. Okay, another notch of flaps. Runway's in sight. Like I said, I've never landed this way before, so this is going to be the first. Let's kind of stay away from that mountain right there. Speed looks good. Alright, we'll start turning towards it now. We got one more notch of flaps to come in. Okay, we're at 130. Let's go ahead and put the last notch of flaps. Sink right. Oh, shut up. We got plenty of room to work with. And I think this side's got a pretty, pretty long. Sink right. Honestly, Pull it's up. got a long threshold, Pull up. it looks like. Pull up. Oh, shut up. Pull up. Pull up. 500. Sink right. Oh, yeah, it's got a long threshold. 500. Gotta get rid of the double 500 call. I keep on forgetting to take that out. Oh, yeah, we got a long threshold here. Minimums. Landing. Breaking. A little too much there, but coming down, slow it down. A little squirrely. Alright. Bring it down. Let's see if we can make this turn right here. Yes, no problem. What do you guys think? Should we go do another flight? Should we go back to San Jose or something? Oh, the taxiway lights are not. Oh, we got double stuff here, man. We have an Orbix issue here. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but we got an Orbix issue. We're gonna have to 
fix that orbix issue. I gotta remember that. Um, where is my piece of paper? Here, so, get to the ramp. so fix fix TVL orbit. What do you guys think? Should we do a flight from here down to San Jose? And Lieutenant Ford's coming in with the wind. Very nice, nice guess, my friend. Yes, we can do another flight. Alright. We'll read flight plan. We'll pull into the FDO over here. We'll read flight plan and we'll go to San Jose. Keep it going on pause now. Um, you, you'd be fine, man, CRJ. You'd be good, dude. We're going to turn around and go back to San Jose now. 3D version 5, my friend. Whoa, easy on the brakes, but it'd be good. Same time, same time. So we'll get in here, we'll get a uh, ground power unit hooked up to it. We'll get on and do another flight plan and refile on PauseCon. out for these people here and not get these people. They shouldn't even be on the ramp anyway. Man. Where's the freaking security around here? Shouldn't even be on the ramp. Hey, you know what? I should hit you with the wing. Shouldn't be bringing your kid out here. Look at that. You're not here. This is what you get. You should just get hit. Oh, I missed him. Damn it. We're going to park it right here and get a ground target and out here to us. Should have ran the damn kid over. Shouldn't be on the ramp in the first place. Freaking kid. Alright, let's call for a ground power before I shut down. Okay, we're back in here. Let's go to two. Let's go ahead and turn off. The pedo static anti-ice can come off. Oops. Do it again. We'll go ahead and turn the recognition anti-collision. Those can stay on. Landing lights can come off. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the AC power off. Generators are going to come off because we're we're going to be on ground power. We'll come over here. Let's see if I can get these to work. Nope. I think there's a special. View. I can't remember. There was a view. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. Oh, I should have turned off the en engine sink after 10,000. I didn't do that. My fault. All right, let's go back over in here and make sure our beacon can come off now. Engine switches can go to normal. Anti-skid, we keep anti-skid on. We've used 1138 pounds of fuel. What do we have fuel-wise? Do we need to get fuel? Nope, we don't need to get fuel, we're good. We got plenty of fuel. All right, let's get flying planning again. Let me get back into uh, let me get back into sim brief. We'll flight plan and get the hell out of here. Let's go ahead and end this flight. Looks like the landing report's working again. Possibly. Alright. So we got that in the logbook. We'll get ready for the next one. Let's log into sim brief. I'll just bring it over here so we can all see it. Uh, dispatch system, create a new flight plan. All right, okay, TVL. Oops, I spelled that wrong. San Jose, yes, I know. I, didn't, I did the L instead of the K. Type too fast, calm down. 
Uh, Sacramento, we won't do any. What time have we got right now? Anybody know the time, Zulu? It is 0019. Let's try to get off at 0040 or before. Okay, so T33 Kilo Sierra. Beja 232. Be nice to put the T in there. Uh, 10 minutes, we'll go to 18, we'll go to 3 zero left in San Jose. Altitude, let's see, we came, we came, we came up here at 21, let's go down at 20, 24. 24 will be good. We got no passengers, and we got 100 pounds of cargo. Also known as baggage, so what do they got? They got Squad Valley Stubble Razor 4. That works. Oh, my starter is? Yeah, it probably didn't disengage. Hold on. It probably didn't disengage. Yeah, that's what it was. It didn't disengage. Thanks for pointing that out, Evan. Did that last time to me, too. Uh, where were we? We were... What were we doing? We were flight planning. Alright, so we got that. Here's our route, basically direct Squad Valley and then on the arrival in the San Jose. So, that looks good. We'll go ahead and generate that flight plan. Hey Black Diamond, how you doing man? I didn't see you in here. Alright. So there's our flight plan. I tried to file this last time on PauseCon, and it did not like me to do that. And I don't know why. Okay, now we're on the 20th. 226, flight level 240, direct that razor. No alternate, no special handling. Um, D2, this actually should be D1. D1. D1 should be all of them. O1. Uh, RMP approaches. We can do that. That's fine. Nothing, no special handling. Two persons. We're not over water. Uh, B dub. Alright, let's see. It gave me an error last time. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Oh, it did it. Yes. It did it. Very, very cool. Alright. Page at 232. Oop. Let's send it. Send it. Ah, thanks, Black Diamond. Appreciate it, buddy. Glad to have you here. 4270 is the squat, guys. 4270 is the squat. 4270. That's our squat. Um, let me go over here and set up our next trip here. And it should load up at the top with the heading up there. Uh, November 232 Kilo Sierra, Bay Jet 232, PauseCon, fly now. Tell me if it updates. Should it, did it update? TVL, it updated. Perfect. All right. And I forgot to get the ATIS through there. Now we can go back there and pull up the weather. I don't know why I was doing that. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, let's go into flight plan. We need to get rid of all this crap. Um... So we can remove all this stuff. We want to remove this. We want to remove... Actually, is it anything else in here? Oh yeah, we want to remove all this stuff. So we can set up a new flight plan here. 
right, so let's bad back. Oh, I could have kept Tahoe in there. That's my fault. Okay, TVL. We want to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. So let's do this fast. Load the departure. Let's do. Let's see. What's it want me to do here? I'm just looking over at the flight plan here on my left side. It's Squaw Valley. Spook tilts Mary. I forgot to. I forgot to install the, uh, oh, actually, yeah, it doesn't want me, it won't let me do, it won't connect to the simulator, the moving mount. Data Josh, thanks Josh so much for the uh, sub, buddy, I greatly appreciate it, thanks for your continued support. Uh, let's see the Richie 6 departure, do I want to do the Richie 6? Six? Richie 6, Mary Tilts. What the hell does this flight plan say? Let's go back to the flight plan. It just says Squaw, Pal Squaw Valley Direct Stubble. I'm gonna go with, uh... I'm gonna go with Mary. Richie, Mary, and then it's Stubble. And then we'll throw in there San Jose, KSJC. Let's load in the procedure. Razor 4. And let's see, now I need to pull up the chart for San Jose. There it is. Bear with me, guys. Almost done. The pain is almost over with. Where the hell is stubble? Okay, so meadows. Let's do it for meadows. I don't know if it's right or not. Three zero. Load the arrival. All right, let's take a look at this flight plan. I got a feeling it's jacked. So, we're departing out of here, we gotta go all the way up, we're not gonna go to Squaw Valley, screw that shit, we're gonna get up as high as we can. And then, Mary, oh, see right here, it's messed up. I already see it. Meadows. So, okay, Mary, we're gonna go Mary Stubble. Mary, Stubble. We need to get rid of this stuff, this is double stuff here. Mary Stubble. Makes me sure Stubble's not in there twice. It's not. And then San Jose, load the procedure, the approach, ILS 30 left, and we'll pick it up from Clyde. Load the approach. You guys ready to get out of here? I sure am. So, let's get this loaded and let's get on our way. PauseCon, we got that. Uh, let's just look at PauseCon. So, this is our new squawk here. We can go to the uh, preview. Let's see, ATIS uplink, flight information. Let's request the San Jose digital ATIS because we can do that here on PauseCon. Let's send that off. You can hear that little noise come through. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, Josh. I'm just uh, doing some beta testing with the pilot client. can't remember. If, ah, there we go. So, ATIS Information Romeo, this is real world too, by the way. ATIS Information Romeo, 23530, winds 3001, 10 miles visibility, few clouds at 3000, 3200, scattered at 4700, broken at 12, 1909, and 300. ILS, ILS Fairgrounds, visual runway 30 left, approaches in use, departing runways 30 left, 30 right, known as multiple cranes of vicinity, the airport bird activity. Advise you have information, Romeo. Okay, let's do it. That looks good. I'm happy with that. We're filed. Um, let's go outside. Let's get the door closed. Back inside. Beacon lights coming on. Set to zero. Let's uh, get the right side started. 
Sometimes you got to push it again because it won't do it. There we go. We got it rolling. Number three. Fuel's coming on. Hope you're doing well too, Josh. Thanks for the sub, my friend. I greatly appreciate the continued support. I'm going to disconnect that. Uh-oh. Why are we not? I'm not getting those sounds out here. Let's go back down here and see what's going on. Shut down. See what happens. Come on, ignite. Uh, yep. Oh, that's right, dude. I turned those off. My fault. You're right. Thanks for reporting that. Reminding me about that. I turned those off. Yeah, I'll be on tonight. Yep. I forgot I put in the normal. We have ignite. We're getting up there. Nine. Ten. Come on. Boom. Ignition. Ignition. All right, to stabilize it, stabilize. Right generator is coming on. Let's start the left. on. We got light up on the left. Let's start in there. AC's coming on. Anti ice, not that. Sorry, not this. We'll go ahead and get our landing lights on. Flaps for takeoff. Let's go ahead and set the trim for takeoff. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's in the middle, right there. We come up here. We're gonna go to 24 this time. That's good, that's good there. Let's start some windshield bleed air on. We'll go ahead and get rid of the ground power. South Lake Tahoe uh, traffic. Citation uh, 550 is going to be taxing on those 36 in the traffic in the area. Please advise. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's Let's roll it. Let's roll it. Check the rudder. Rudder looks good. Pretty quick, huh? What do you guys think? On maybe 15 minute turn? 15, 20 minute turn? Yeah, I gotta fix this. This is too bad. Now that one's right back down there at the other end. It's not good. Alright. Let's get this thing back in the air. We'll go to San Jose and see if we can. Uh, See if we can land this thing just as good in San Jose. Hey, thanks. That's so much appreciated, buddy. Yeah, I gotta get some flights in there every now and then. The reason why I haven't been flying yet because we just don't we don't have Active Sky ready uh, yet for version five. So, and I didn't want to install version 4.5 at Denver. 
everything starts coming out for version 5. Oh boy, I've got to move everything over to version 5 now, and then i got to uninstall version 4.5. So I just decided to wait. And I've got everything, almost everything, in here. There's still some like Imagine Sim. I'm waiting for them for their updates. Um, Flight Beam just released the Portland update. It took a little bit longer with that. And for some reason, it's not in my account, so I had to email them with the know, hey, I already, I bought, I bought Portland, here's my receipt, it's not in my account, can you please re-upload re it for me so I can get that installed. So, I got a lot of scenery in here right now, I got Latin VFR, Flight Beam, FS Dream Key, uh, who am I missing? There's somebody else wanting to install the here too. I'm missing somebody else. I went over the names last night, now I can't remember shit. No, Brian, we're not there yet. We just landed in, in South Lake Tahoe, now we're getting ready to go to San Jose. It is, okay, I can just, uh, I can just turn it down a little bit here. That might help a little tiny bit, I'll turn it down. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's better. I got the speed. I got the speakers up you know. Oh yeah, I love South Lake Tahoe. I came in from the uh, landed runway 36, which I never ever do. That was fun. As you know, you really technically one way in, one way out. It's supposed to be. And I said screw that. I always do runway 18. I want to change it up. South Lake Tahoe citation 550 departing runway. Uh, 3-6 to the north, and then uh, southeast departure, any traffic in the area, please advise. We all know there's nobody on here, because there's no ATC yet. It's just a client, pilot client, but if somebody else is on here, you're supposed to announce your intentions via the pause con rules. So let's line up here. We'll line up runway 1, uh, 3 six here, and get all of our lights turned on. Alright, we are lined up. We'll set the parking brake. Pedostatic's coming on. That is on. That's good there. We'll go ahead and get the anti-collision. The recognition lights are on. Uh, everything else I have set ready to go. Flaps are set. Let's roll. There we go, guys. <laughs> get, get furloughed drive back to California. Okay, brakes are set. Full throttle. Let it get zoomed up, full power, full power, brakes off. We're rolling. Airspeed's alive. 210, and 210 is the sweet spot for the Citation 550 for a climb speed. There's 70 knots. 80 knots. We're looking for 110 for rotation. There's a hundred. There we go. And we're back on the yoke. And up, up, away. Positive rate. Gear's coming up. And we are away. Pitch the nose down a little bit here. Alright. Slight left turn here. Lap's coming up. Bring the GTN 750 up here so we can make sure we know what we're doing here. We should be turned just a little bit more to the left. Alright, autopilot yawn damper is coming on. We'll go to nav mode, altitude select, we'll wait for the 210. And we're just going to follow the departure. Let's see what it's doing here. Let's see if it's going to go back. And the reason why they do this, because you've got to gain altitude to get over the terrain, so they want to take you over the lake and then bring you back around. But we're not going to go all the way to Squaw Valley. There's no reason for it. There's no reason to go all the way to Squaw Valley. So basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to go in here, wait for that 210 sweet spot. And we're going to go direct to uh, Squaw Valley right now. And as we get high enough, we're going to climb it. There's IIS mode. 
two tens what we're looking for. We get up to a length twelve thousand feet. I'm going to turn it back around and go back direct Mary. Look at that. Mm. Just drove from California back home to Ruth, Minnesota three weeks ago. Oh wow. That's one hell of a drive. Alright, we're out of 11,000 feet. You know what that means. Unnecessary lights are going to be coming off, so we'll go ahead and turn off the recognition lights. Landing lights coming off. We forgot the passenger safety. So what? That's their own problem. We don't even have passengers, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just go into the fan sink. And we're getting enough altitude now. I'm going to go bring this back up. And we're going to go to heading mode. We're going to turn this thing around. I'm not going to go all the way to uh, Squaw Valley. So we're going to turn it around here. We're going to go hit heading mode. Get it turned in the right direction here. We'll go direct Mary. Hey, okay, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Ford, take care, my friend. Thanks for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Get some good, no, well-deserved rest. Okay, we'll keep it in the turn. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the flight plan. And we're going to go direct Mary. We'll hit the nav button. That's just to help it out in the turn, to help it out so we can get direct. So now it's just going to follow the magenta line around. Climbing to 240. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that when I come back here. I'll set it. We can go to the outside view. Let's go check the outside view. Let's see how dirty it is. Got the whole cockpit covering pop out display like oh yeah man. I'd like to bring up a GTN 750 so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. I've got to spend some time with the town. Okay man, take care Evan. Thanks for stopping by brother. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Man, it just looks good. I love version 5. I'm in love with it now. It's so much better. The performance is so much better. There's 18,000, we know what that is, that's 29.92, should have done that earlier. Okay, we can go ahead and sync up the heading now. So, my man Black Diamond there, he likes to see where we're going and what we're doing, so... Let's see, did I download it? I don't think I downloaded the flight plan. Let's go back to SimBrief here, let's put it down. Where is it? The only bad thing is, like I said, I don't have the... Um, I forgot to install the software that gives me the uh, moving map on the Navigraph charts. I forgot to do that. Uh, let's save that. Let's go in here. We're going to unload this flight plan. We're going to load the one I just, just put in there. Then I'll bring it over here and show it to you guys. So you can kind of see what we're doing here. So here's our flight plan. You can see the good part of it, the moving map, you'd see where we're at and what we're doing. But right now, uh, basically, we departed out of uh, South Lake Tahoe. We went to Ritchie. Now we're actually going to Mary, which they don't show on here. It's probably a low-altitude one. And then from there, we'll pick up the, uh, the arrival, which starts down here. We're not doing these runways. We're just doing 30 left. And we're going direct stubble for the uh, 
three zero left ILS. Preferably going to pick up the uh, the visual. Uh, but yeah, the moving map. If you click this up here, it won't connect. It'll give you that it's not connected because the sim is running, and I have to install the little program to make it work. But you guys kind of get an idea, man. We're flying over the Central Valley. We'll be west to the Yosemite. Um, and right down the Central Valley. We'll go a bit next to Sonora, which is in the mountainous areas, but we'll be just to the east of, uh, or start, sorry, but the west of Yosemite as we make our way down to San Jose. So uh, a cool thing here, what we can do too, is we can come into the company me messages and say, hey, uh, give me a terminal forecast. I want a terminal forecast. Just, we'll just say for shits and giggles, we want to look at, we want to look at Lake Tahoe again. We want to look at San Jose. All right, I want to send that request. That sound that you hear, is it sending it off? Yeah, it looks good in the sim. Come over to messages. We should get a message here. Let's see. There we go. All right, so look at the Tahoe METAR. There was a Tahoe METAR. Very over five knots. Ten miles and clear. Temperatures in the Three zero zero four. So we got that one right. So we'll go back and return, and we'll go check the San Jose. San Jose is still the same, 3011, 10 miles visibility, fuel cost 32. And if we go there, we're like, oh, all right, well, I want to get the, uh, I want to get the ATIS. Let's let's pull up the ATIS at San Jose. What is it? What is it doing real life? Let's see. Ah, uh, the kidney stone. Kidney stones are no fun. Thank God I haven't had any in a long time. There we go. Latest information, Romeo is current at San Jose. ILS 30 left visual pro, uh, visual fairgrounds visuals in approach. All right, cool. So I know what to uh, I know what to expect. Latest information, Romeo. So that's what PauseCon gives us. It gives us all these cool tools we can use, uh, especially when we get ready to get the ATC client out, and we'll be able to have ATC on here and test it out that way too. It's going to be awesome. All right, we're at 240. Let's go ahead and bring these throttles back a little bit here so we don't overspeed. Maybe about 98.5. Oh, I gotta go check on the dogs, guys. I'm gonna do the outside view. Enjoy the views. P3D version 5. You're back. Well, tell, tell them to hurry up and get out, man. Tell, ain't nobody got time for a kidney stone, bro. Ain't nobody got time for a kidney stone. Alright, let's pull up the uh, razor. We need to be 
at Razor between 20 and 22 need to be at quiet at 4. So I'm just going to put in there quiet at 4. So we'll go back in here. Look, look at this. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. So let's go into utilities. V calculations. We want 4,000 feet. Okay. Let's get rid of one of those. Uh, let's do it again. 2,000 feet a minute. No offset. Before Clyde. So before Clyde, we'll say before Clyde. We want to see the message here. So it shows begin descent in 12 minutes. All right. We'll begin begin descent in 12 minutes. So it's perfect. Do I give myself shortcuts when I fly? Yes, I do. If there's no ATC on, you're doggone right I do. I mean, right now I really don't need to do a shortcut because this is a short flight. But if uh, yeah, if there's no ATC on, I'll give myself a shortcut. But since we're testing PauseCon, I can't really do that. So. Uh, not yet, uh, Black Diamond. I'm waiting for Active Sky to come out with their uh, updated updated Active Sky for version 5. It's not out yet. That's why I'm not flying on Batsum. I, threw, I flew on Poscon. Right now I don't have the weather and I want to be able to have the weather. So this is, you know, just beta testing it. No, they don't mind it. They don't. They don't know. I mean, if they're not online, what are they going to do? They can't say anything about it. I'd be like, well, I gave myself direct. Nobody was online. I wanted to do a shortcut. They're not going to say anything. Just the views. I mean, just look at that. There's Lake Tahoe in the background. This looks damn good. This will have to do until FS 2020 next year. This will have to do. Um, when you install, when you install version five, they lock it at 30 frames. I've got it locked at 30 right now. Uh, I'm hitting 30s. Even on the ground, I'm hitting 30s. I've, I've done it at 40. I've done it at 50. They stay at 40 and 50. And I've done it uh, unlimited. And it fluctuates 50, 60, 80. I've hit 100 a couple times. So the frame rates are a lot better in version 5 because you're going from DX11 to DX12 now, which is also going to bump up your frame rates. I've got, I've got a big improvement, huge improvement. I don't know, CRJ. I've seen firsthand of what 2020 looks like. I've, I've got a sneak peek from it, and uh, you are going to be amazed on what they've done. Nobody in Flight Sim has done it yet that Microsoft has done. Every building that you can think of has been 3D modeled. I got to see the area where I grew up in Santa Clara. I got to see the houses in that area. They're all 3D. The uh, Levi Stadium where the Niners play, 3D. The training facility right next door to the stadium, 3D. Everything. The water tanks, the amusement parks, the roller coasters, 3D. Everything in 3D. Nobody in flight sim has done that yet. Everything looks like you're flying over the real city. I'm telling you, it's going to be, uh, 
It's going to be a game changer. Nobody in the flight sim. Nobody's done it yet. Nobody has done that yet. And I was impressed. I mean, I was, my jaw was just like, oh my god, why can't this come out now? I mean, to even see the home where I grew up at, it's in 3D. All the homes are in 3D. All the buildings, every building that should be in the area in Santa Clara by where Great America is and Levi Stadium is there. Every single building is there. Every single Silicon Valley company building is there. And it's in 3D. No, it, it's true. I don't. I'll have to ask. I know. I know people who beta test it. I'll have to ask them what, what it what it's like to fly in it. But it it's going to be a game changer. I really think a lot of people are going to move from X plane and they're going to move from P3D. And I think that's why P3D came out with version five because they're trying to improve on it and give us a better simulator. And they know that people are going to be leaving. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting for sure. Okay, Stubble's supposed to be 22 and 24. Let's, uh, I think we're going to be okay. I got to descend in seven minutes. So we're going to be a little high on the arrival, but that's fine. Like I said, there's no ATC on so it. I'm not going to worry about it. I hope they didn't make an arcade game out of the flight. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's that way. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm hoping to get on the beta team. I filled out I filled an application out for the beta team about a month ago, and they said it takes a little while, so I'm hoping to see if I can get on it. Yeah, yeah. They were having they were having issues with the Airbus, but I think they got the issues fixed now. I gotta go let the dog in from outside. It's their dinner time. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this to 4,000. It's not gonna descend on its own, but I still have a little bit of time here. I wanna go get them fed, guys. I'll be right back.
Yeah, except folks with the 32 gig of memory so far, and of course those folks aren't running i5s. Yeah, that's what I have. I have 32 gigs. An i7 9700K, yada yada yada. Yeah, but I hope it, um, well, the background doesn't look too good right now, does it? The sunlight's changed. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Look at that old guy. Alright. I, I, I hope it, uh, I hope FS 2020 is the bomb. I hope it. I hope it comes out and just awes everybody. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Time would tell, right? Look at that. Look at that. That looks so freaking real. That just looks real. Hey doggy. Can hear your tail. Hmm. I can eat more than I get sixty percent for the can't eat you and it's just not more of Yep, that's the puffers. She just got done having her food. Our other dog, man, he got an upset tummy today. Boy, you can hear his stomach. He hasn't even eaten yet. Yeah, I think what I mean, what you try, what you kind of want to do, you know, if I'm, if, tell me if I'm right or wrong. You want the simulators to use the cores of the CPU more than you want to use it from the GPU. Or is it the other way around? But isn't that what you want? Don't you, you, you want the simulator to use the cores and not all of the GPU? I don't remember how it's supposed to go. But I'm thinking, you know, with all these it is what you want. Explain does that nicely. Okay. Or do you want to take the simu or do you want the simulator to take everything from the GPU and not the CPU? To get better better frame rates, I would think you'd want it to want it to take from the CPU because the CPU has so many different cores that it can use more than what the GPU can do. I don't know. I'm not that computer smart. I can build computers, but when it gets into your te technical software kind of stuff, yeah, I can't do that stuff. And there's our top of descent. 2,000 feet a minute. Whoa, whoa, that's 3,000 feet. We want to only go to one of two. That's two right there. Watch that we don't overspeed. It would be better if the GPU was fed that and the processing happened there. It does feel like the CPU is heavy feeding GPU like FS10 did, which isn't terribly different than PC. Okay. Well, I mean, on my machine, I don't have version 4 installed anymore, 4.5, I just have 5. And like I said, I've got it locked at 30, and no matter where I go, I'm at 30 all the time. I can move it up to 40, it goes to 40. I move it up to 50, it goes to 50. 
so it's holding the frames the way it should be and the frames are really nice no stuttering or nothing so maybe maybe it all depends on what kind of computer you have Michael says I can't even run version 5 I only have 2.5 gigs of dedicated VRAM bring the throttles back a little bit here like I do yeah. I mean so far I mean I'm happy with everything I, just, I mean I love the way the sim looks like I said I'm using the true sky so it looks like it's like lighter but if you turn off true sky all this all the scenery around here gets brighter and it's weird it's a little bit too much so if you don't use the true sky, it, the, the colors and everything are super vibrant and really come out kind of unrealistic a little bit. So I like how they added the true sky to it because it gives it a better effect. It's almost like the same kind of effect you would get in x -Plan. You already ate, dog. You're not getting no more food. There's a dam. I forget what name it is. What's the name of that dam lake? San Luis Reservoir right here. Monterey area is over here. Let's see, 16 gigs of RAM enough to run this. Just ordered my computer and wanted to share. Yeah, six, you should be fine with 16 gigs of RAM. I have 32, I've always had 32, but 16, 16 gigs of RAM should be just fine. Time to let's, what, is, what was San Jose? Let's check it again, guys. Let's uh, let's ask for it again. Let's make sure it did not change. So we'll ask if I can type it in right. See what the hell I'm typing. No, I still can't. Okay, that's JC. Let's get it right, B Dub. Okay, there it is. It's sent off. There's our message. Sierra's current 3002 it's changed okay 3002 so 3002 there's one there's two what does that equal to uh, what does that equal to in Q and H So Q and A is see inches of mercury three zero zero two. It's gonna be ten seventeen. Go to the outside. This one I can look, look at that. There's San Luis Reservoir. When you get close to this, you know you're getting close to uh, San Jose. Gilroy. Down the Gilroy area. This is a uh, 152. This is a lot of people used to die on this freeway. It's gotten a little bit better, but it's just dangerous because it's two lane road with no divider. It's not two lanes, it's four lanes, two on each side. There's no divider down there. People used to always get killed. So if you're coming from the Central Valley and you want to go to Gilroy or Monterey, usually this is 152. This is you guys that are from the Bay Area. 
will know what Pacheco Pass is. This is the Pacheco Pass. And that takes you into Monterey, Gilroy. Yep, during the Garlic Festival. Mm, that should be Hollister Airport right there. CBH, Hollister Airport. Now we're coming into the Bay Area. Was I right? Yeah. CVH is Hollister. Yep, that was right. So we're making our way down to 4000 to intercept the ILS from way three zero left. Damn it. Spear horn. We can slow it down. There we go. Just throw some just both throw some speed back. Let's bring the speed back. It's an over speed horn. I didn't want to do that. Around a nine thousand for four thousand. We'll bring the boards out just a tiny bit here. So I'll just slow down a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, this is so Gilroy is famous for the garlic. Gilroy is just south of San Jose and they have the garlic festival. And that's where a lot of your garlic comes from, is Gilroy. You drive through there and you know you're in Gilroy. Because you can smell the garlic. Yes, very, uh, very big event. Garlic ice cream, yep. Garlic everything. I would think if all those buildings and airports are have the military bases. I think so. I think they will. Alright, I'm going to slow the descent down now. I don't want to get too low here, so I'm going to bring it down to, uh, there's 4,000. I'm going to bring it down to like 1,500 feet a minute. Slow it down just a tiny bit. Uh, then let's see here. Then Seiko. Clyde. Alright, so what I want to do here is I'm just going to maintain this heading. So I'm going to take it off of nav and I'm going to go on heading mode. Big mistake. Should have lined it up first, but that's fine. We're still good. 265 heading. We want to do that now, so let's go like this. We want to be at 265, and what are we at? 258, 265, right there. We're 250 knots, it's perfect. Wind's blowing us around. Let's see, when is that so I can know to come during that time? I, when is the Garlic Festival? Isn't it in like June? Isn't it during the summertime? I think it's during the summertime. Okay, we're going to go on VLOC. And we're going to bring this up. The course heading for San Jose is 304. It's a runway course heading, so I'll put that up to 3. Ooh, I hit something. I'll go back and change it. There we go. All right, so we got that out when we see the bars come over. We'll push the approach button. We'll start to bring the speed back just a tiny bit more here. Just a tiny bit more. And we're looking for San Jose. Last weekend of July, okay. Yeah, hopefully it won't be canceled, right, with everything that's going on. Okay, there we are, holding 4,000. We're waiting for the ILS to come in. We'll watch for it to come in here. Once we see it moving, we'll hit the approach mode for it. This has been fun, guys. I was only going to do one flight, but what the hell, let's do two. 
right, let's get two in, and then uh, I'm gonna take a break, go have dinner with the family, and then I'll be back later on tonight, and we'll do some we'll do some controlling as long as there's room for me to uh, come on there and control. There's a the glide slope, it's popped up. We are getting closer, guys. We are getting closer. We're supposed to climb. Cross Clyde at 5,000. This is 101, US 101 right here. People know the area, they'll know that's 101. US 101, all the way down to LA, it goes all the way up to Northern California. It turns into one up in um, the Oregon area. For that ILS to start moving here. We've got the frequency in. Just a matter of time. And you don't want to do it beforehand. If you hit the approach button too soon, it'll turn and it won't it won't get you on the uh, localizer. So we're waiting for the, the glide slope inter, inter indicator to come down, plus we're waiting for the localizer to come in. Speed is good. And then once we get established, I'll let everybody... Hey, we're established. Runway 3 is real left. Okay. The shoe's coming off so I can do these pedals really well. I need to take them over. There it goes. Approach mode. Capture. Boom. And now I do not need the GP GTN anymore. Now we're waiting for the glide slope to take over. San Jose traffic, uh, Bayjet 232 Citation 550 type aircraft is on the ILS runway 30 left in San Jose. Any traffic in the area, please advise. There's San Jose, we've got it in sight. San Jose is in sight. Glide slope starting, to, it's starting, and glide slope indicator starting to drop. We're doing about 190, we'll go ahead and do one, one notch of flaps. Make sure we don't slow down too much. We don't want to fall out of the air. Since we are here, we can go ahead and turn on our recognition lights. Look at that. So that's 101 down there. San Martin. There's another little town back there. And then we've got, what is it? Um, Gilroy. That's the town before that, Morgan Hill. So this is US 101 right here. There's downtown San Jose. You got Reed Hillview Airport over here, which is a small airport. And then right over here, you can see Moffett Field. You can see the big point hangar sitting over there. All right, we are descending via the glide slope. Everything's looking good. We're a little high. So we're going to bring another notch of flaps in here. We're going to pull the speed brake a little bit. We're going to go ahead and set the uh, on the speed brake. Here's coming down. That's like you dodgy. Yes sir it is. Yes sir it is. San Jose. Getting ready to get on the glide slope. Now things are looking good. Speed's coming back. I'm starting to bleed off some of that speed. Now I've got the airport in sight. I got Moffitt in sight. I got it all in sight. Looking good, guys. Looking good. This right here, this road right here that you see, this is Monterey Highway. This used to be the old US 101 Monterey Highway. It goes right through downtown. Alright, we are set for the approach. We're doing 160. We got one more notch of flaps to go. We're on the ILS, we're on the glide slope. We're a tiny bit high. Uh, right before we get to downtown, I'm going to take everything off, take it over by hand. Everything is looking good. What what do you guys remember what we got in 
in South Lake Tahoe. Was it like 202 or something like that? You guys remember? I think it was like 202. Actually, you know what? I think I could look while I'm in here flying. It was 202. 202 is what it's showing. So we're going to try to do better in 202. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better in version 5? I don't know. I think it looks a lot better in version 5 than 4.5. 178. 101. Alright, you guys ready? We're taking this over now. Autopilot's off. The adapter's off. E dub's got the controls. One we got one notch of flaps to go. We got two white, two red. Don't forget about the uh we've got a long we got like what is it, a thousand foot threshold or more. Okay, last notch of flaps coming in. Speed's looking good. Uh, there's a little push up on the altitude there. Yep, you can see we lost more of the red. Too low. Terrain. What in the hell was that? Huh? You guys see that? I hit something. Pull up. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. <laughs> What'd you want? Terrain ahead. Pull up. Okay. Terrain ahead. Pull up. What terrain was that, ahead. guys? Did you pull see up. that? I hit something. Terrain ahead. Something pull in the up. scenery. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Too low. Terrain. Alright. We're gonna go back through that again. We're gonna go back and see if we can land again. You saw that, right? Yeah. We're gonna go back and see what happened. We're gonna see if we can land this thing again. Flaps are coming up. Gears coming up. We're gonna see that was just after, just after downtown. It's all good, dude. Hold on. We're gonna figure this out. need to come back in here and let me see where I'm at here. We're going to try to do it again. I need to figure out where it happened. Okay, let's put a notch, an, a notch of flaps in. Let's turn right base. Gear's coming down. Could be the scenery that I put in here, but we'll see. Fighter, fighter, fighter turn, fighter turn. Here we go, good. A natch. Okay, come back. Here we are downtown again. Sink rate, pull up. Okay, Line we're slope. fine. Pull up. Line Sink rate. We're Line good. Slope. You can, Line you can slope. chill. Line slope. Line shut slope. up. Line shut slope. up. Shut Line up. slope. It's one way to shut it up. Alright, it's right over downtown that it happens. Speed's coming back. Another notch of flaps. Speed brakes arm. So this is where it happens, right here, I think. Right after here one of these buildings so let's get a little bit higher and then I'll drop down okay there 1300 feet over downtown now I'll start coming down last notch of flaps coming in
for good now, guys. I think I have to go. 500. 500. Yeah, I know. It saw that I paused. All right, guys. So I have to be higher over downtown. It's, it has to be a, a building there or something. Right, look at that slide. Uh, not the time change. That's what that was. Alright, we're clear. So, I have to come in higher over downtown. That's what the problem is. I've got to come higher over downtown. I don't, remember, I don't remember what altitude that was at. Park over here, we'll get the flaps up. 603? Yeah, that's because of that crash. Because of that crash. So it's one of those buildings over downtown. That was weird. Oh well, we're down, everything's good. Now we know that we can't come in that low over downtown. And the condition lights can come off. So that's good to know. Coming into San Jose, because this is San Jose I got from a friend of mine. Um, it's not totally really compatible with version 5, so one of these buildings must be too high. I don't know which one it was, so I know I know over downtown I need to be at 1300, no lower than 1300. So that's good to know. Until they make this compatible with version 5, I know I need to be higher. It was a good fight though. That's good. It's a good test because I didn't know that. Now I know that. 1300 over downtown. That's the trick. Now I must have been below 1300 coming in. And you can see there's, it's still kind of beta because there's this line that's going through here. So we're going to park it right here at San Jose. Alright, we'll cut the Cut the engines back here. Go ahead and put the parking brake back into the cockpit. Pedostatic's coming off. Uh, we'll turn off these anti ice for all services. Generators are coming off. We'll ask for a ground power unit. Get that hooked up. It's going. Go ahead and turn off the AC power, turn off the lights. So, actually, guys, that was, that was a good learning experience that we know. And since I put this, if I didn't have this scenery in, at this airport, I don't think that would have happened. Like I said, I don't. Obviously, it's not compatible with version five. I know I need to come in a little bit higher, but it was a, uh, it was a good test. Now that I know, I got to come in higher until they get it fixed uh, for version five. There's two engines turned off. There, we can go ahead and turn off our beacon light. And the uh, anti-skids turned off. That's turned off. And go ahead and turn off the avionics. Battery's coming off. And, oh. Battery should have turned off, let's see. 
that's one thing it's still working when batteries come off everything should come off there maybe if we disconnect the ground power oh see it's an issue anyways we're here in San Jose we made it it was an interesting flight now we know that there's an issue uh, coming in too low over the downtown area there's a building there it's probably too high so uh, it was good that we came back around and tested it again thanks for everybody to uh, coming by I greatly appreciate it and uh, we'll go ahead and log off uh, PauseCon here that's two good flights that we did so we'll go ahead and re request that we'll go ahead and hit disconnect and we'll close off the system here that's closed. We'll disconnect. Can I disconnect? We'll just hit exit. So we will see you guys later on this evening for an Oakland Center uh, stream. You guys take care. B-dubs out. Have a good one, guys. Till later.